Hello my dears, welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I have a spoiler free book review to share with you guys and today we're going to be talking about The Cloisters by Katie Hayes. This book comes out I believe on November 1st and I was lucky enough to get an early copy of this thanks to NetGalley and the publisher. Right away when I read the synopsis I was intrigued. It, first of all it um, said great for um, fans of The Secret History, which if you've been around my channel for a while, I recently read and really enjoyed. Um, it also compared it to Ninth House, which I haven't read, but I've heard some people really say they loved it, people who seem to share similar book tastes. <laughs> so when I saw those two comparisons, I thought, okay, let's, let's see what it's all about. So the book is about a girl named Anne. She's recently graduated college and she's moved to New York to take a, I think like an internship position at the Met, the museum. When she gets there, she finds out immediately that um, her position actually isn't going to be available because of one of the curators having taken a position elsewhere for the summer. And for a minute, she's feeling really embarrassed, like she's moved across the country for this um, opportunity. But as fate would have it, um, a man walks into the office, his name is Patrick, and he is a curator for the Cloisters, which is sort of a part of the museum, but it's its own separate thing. And up there, he works on he, he researches the occult and mysticism and things like that. And he's spent his, you know, most of his adult life working on this, trying to make discoveries. In particular, he's very interested in tarot as divination. So he kind of comes into the office talking about how he's in need of uh, help. And it just works out that Anne gets to go with him and work there instead. So that worked out perfectly. And so she goes, she meets the um, woman that's his assistant. Her name is Rachel. And from there she gets her feet wet in this new world that's very new to her. And um, we know that she's from a small town out in Washington and her dad, who she was really, really close to, has recently passed away. And she's really wanted to put some distance between her and her hometown because everything is a reminder of him and she misses him so, so much. So, right, it's the perfect opportunity. From there, the book really just takes us through what working there is like for her. And while a lot of things happen, not a lot of things happen, which will make sense when you read it, but it's a lot of day-to-day -day stuff, working in the museum, trying to make discoveries, and as time goes by, we see Rachel and Anne kind of form their own research duo outside of Patrick, and um, we just see how that take shape. Another character that's pretty important is a man named Leo. He's a gardener and Anne kind of strikes up a friendship, a little more than a friendship, with him as time goes by as well. <laughs> this kind of book is really hard to talk about without giving spoilers away. Um, so we're going to keep this short and sweet and to the point. I found the book really engaging. First of all, it's a debut and it's a beautiful one. I gave it four stars on Goodreads. I might I'm, I might round that up. <laughs> I might round that up to five, uh, to 4.5 because um, I really, really enjoyed it. I just thought the ending came a little quickly, and that's what docked a little bit off it for me. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought the writing was absolutely beautiful. Katie is a engaging writer. It really she kept me interested. Once I started, I blew through the book very quickly. Kept me turning the pages. Um, recently I've been reading a lot of horror and thrillers, so this was a bit of a shift in gears. There's a bit of a mystery here, but it's definitely not a thriller by any means. Um, but I really enjoyed it. The characters 
were very interesting. I'm just thinking now because I literally just finished this book. I wanted to come and get my first thoughts in here. The characters were interesting. I thought they were decently developed. Um, it's definitely character driven more so than plot driven, I think, in my opinion. I really liked learning things about um, the history of tarot cards. There's, you know, um, info sprinkled in throughout. I thought that was very interesting. It's really interesting to think about how, you know, um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, uh, thousands of years ago, they were, um, you know, creating, you know, different cultures around the world were creating different divination tools because a lot of them believed that fate was foretold. Like, choice didn't matter. Your life was already mapped out for you. And that's such an interesting concept. And I really liked how we're looking at that within the tarot, but then we're also seeing that in Anne's actual life. Like, even at the beginning, how I mentioned when she shows up, her job is gone, but she's at the right place at the right time to get this new job. Or is she at the right place at the right time? Hmm? Or was that pre-planned? Maybe not by her, but sometimes fate's not in our own hands, our own fate. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I thought Rachel was an interesting character. Right from the beginning, you don't know if she's friend or foe. And um, that back and forth of which is she keeps going up until almost the very end. I thought Patrick was an interesting character. He's an older man, late 40s. He's described as very handsome, very interesting. And um, just overall, I thought it was, I thought it was a fun read and um, definitely, definitely kept my interest the whole time. So if that sounds like something that you would like, I would definitely recommend checking it out once November comes around. And pardon me if I sound sick today, it's because I am. <laughs> I am very sick today. But I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I had to slap some, slap my face on and come and sit and talk to you guys for a little bit. Anyway, that's gonna just about do it for me for tonight. I just got a new um, review copy sent to me of Anne-Marie McDonald's latest book. I don't know if you're familiar with her, but she's a Canadian writer. She's written a few books. I've only read one of hers and it was years and years and years ago. It was called Fall on Your Knees. And it was excellent. It was excellent. So I'm so excited to have a copy of her new book to share with you guys. So I'll be reading that soon because I think that one comes out in October even. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good night and I will see you again real soon. Bye.